Switch panels are the little banners or buttons that you see when you scroll down below somebody's stream. These can be used for little bits of information about you or your stream, and they can link to other places too, like your other social media or donations. And you can even get some interactive Twitch extensions too to add things like stream pets, leaderboards, and a ton of other options. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set these up and all the fun little ways that you can utilize these on your channel, as well as giving you some free panels to use at the end of the video, as well as some ways to get other free ones or to make them yourself again for free. This can be really great for growth on Twitch. And since you guys always ask me, hey, Cal, what's the best way to grow your stream. I want to talk to you about Nexus clips for a second. If you're a streamer and you're not uploading any clips from your streams, you're just limiting your own growth. <laughs> Nexus clips has an AI powered tool that makes it quick and easy to edit clips even if you have zero editing experience. You can simply link your channel and an AI will filter through your stream VODs and find the best possible clippable moments for you within a couple of seconds. It can even generate captions for you on its own and it has a full editing bay that's really simple to use if you need to make any adjustments too. You can even upload and schedule your clips right from Nexus clips itself and it even finds you the best hashtags to post with to to maximize your reach and growth based on your niche. If you want to try this for yourself so you can start uploading clips daily with super high quality and very minimal effort, I'll leave the link at the top of the description below for you and you can use code CAL, that's C-A-L, to get 10% off of your order at checkout. And hey, that's a pretty good discount if you ask me. Uploading clips really is one of the best ways, in my opinion, to grow your stream. Now you have no excuse, so go make some clips and skyrocket your channel's growth. So back to the panels, I'm gonna start by showing you how to do a very basic text-based panel. So to do this, you first want to head to your channel and you're gonna to wanna to be in the About section. You'll then see a toggle at the top to edit your panels and a big fat plus icon to add one here. Go ahead and click on that plus and you'll have two options, an image and text panel or an extension panel. So for now, let's start with the image and text panel and then I'll show you how to do extensions later on as well. So let's go through all the options here. The first box you'll see is panel title. This I don't typically use because if you do have an image like on my channel here, this is usually used instead of a title. But if you don't have an the artwork panels yet or if you don't want them you can then use this title to name it something such as about me for example then below in the description box is where the bulk of your text is going to be going so for example i'll just type youtube recording in this box just for a quick example for you and hit save and then this is what it will look like with a plain title and a description so you'll notice that the title is just a little bit bigger and bold compared to the rest of the text but if we head back there and instead of adding a title we can take that out and add an image instead so to add this you just click the add image button and select your file from your computer the image needs to be 320 20 pixels wide. If your image isn't that size, it'll either scale it for you or it'll just make you change it to another one that fits those sizings. Then if we save this, you'll see that I now have an image as the title with the text under it instead, which looks a bit nicer and more professional on your stream. But it doesn't even stop there. So let's head back here again. And this time I'll show you how to make this a link, like a button to click rather than just being a title for your text. So for example, let's say we want social media as an option and you want it to link to your actual social accounts. So first you want to select your artwork. So I'll just do a social media one that I've got made. And then you can make this a link by posting the link to your social media account or in my case my link tree with all of my social media accounts attached into this little box and then you click save you'll then see that when we take a look now on the twitch page you'll be able to click the image as a button instead of it just being a title and you can do this with any links that you'd like to as well so if you look at my channel i have this youtube channel link that you're watching this video on as well as all of my social media an amazon wishlist a donation link so it's pretty endless it's basically just up to you what you want to have linked so that covers the fundamentals of how to do an image and text panel but let's look at the other options you have for this as well so if you want to take your customization of this a little bit further, you may have noticed that above the description box, it says that panels support markdown. And if you click on this link in the text, you'll be taken to a page by Twit that shows you all of the ways that you can format your text in your description box to make your text look bold, to have headers, lists, or line breaks, and a whole bunch of other options too. So if you're interested in any of that to make yours look a little bit different to everyone else's, I'll leave the link in the description as well, just in case you need it, but you should be able to find it when you're customizing them. And this will have all the options for you that you can use straight on Twitch itself. If you're finding this video helpful so far, a like would go along way to help other streamers like you find this content for them to help them as well and subscribe if you want to stick around to take your channel to the next level by seeing other videos like this but let's move on to extension panels these are really cool and they can add cool things like this that i have on my channel for example this is a leaderboard for bits and subs this is an emote showcase to show people which emotes they'll get if they subscribe but there are literally hundreds of options that you can check by heading to your image at the top right going to the create a dashboard and clicking on the extensions tab to have a browse through these. You can add things like sound alerts like this, which will add a tab below your stream so people can use channel points or bits to play sounds on your stream. You can add your Instagram feed to show your recent posts if you'd like to. You can have built-in Twitch games that are here for your viewers to play whilst you're streaming or even when you're offline. You can even have game specific ones. So I recommend having a little browse through, find some that are good for you. You can have up to three underneath your stream. So look for those if you want to now. I also have a video here with seven crucial extensions that I found after years of using different ones that I think are pretty 
pretty good essentials. Once you've found one or a few that you want to add, head back to edit your panels and this time select extension panel when you're adding a new one. Then you'll have a button to open up your extension manager by clicking through and you'll be taken to a list of all the extensions that you've saved to your Twitch channel. And you'll notice that the drop down button on these say activate. So click on that and once you have, you can then head back to your stream and this will either mean that your extension will be there and ready to go or sometimes bear in mind, some of these may need configuring. Like for example, you might have to add something like sound alerts to your actual streaming software as a link as well as a browser source to actually make it pop up even though it is already under your stream. Or for another example, you can see that I've added a Discord panel as you can see here, but Twitch obviously doesn't know which account is mine, which server is mine and what to show in this box. So for this, I need to configure it by logging in, validating my server, and then it knows to have that server on my page. So if you have an extension panel that needs some kind of configuration as well, you wanna head back to your extension manager. So click the edit button and click configure on your extension panel once you've uploaded it. And then obviously all of these will be different, so I can't list them all, but just follow any relevant instructions which it has, which is always on the extension if there's anything extra that you need to do. And then you'll be good to go and your extension will be set up on your channel and look like this, for example, if you have a Discord one. But there we have it. That's how you take advantage of Twitch panels in all of their many forms across Twitch. But as I said at the start of the video, if you want some free panels, there is a link in the description to my website. There is a free page there full of art, not just panels, other stuff as well. So feel free to help yourself do any of that that will help you out. It's also worth looking around because there are other sites online that offer free options for this too. I hope this helped. Here's another video that you might find helpful. Good luck with customizing your stream and I hope to see you in another video soon. Mwah.